Hi everyone. So welcome to my web development channel. So in today's video, what we are going to discuss is like how we can create a weather API, which we will be doing it using node application. So for this, we will be using the real time service from stackweather.com. So let's get started. What I will do is I will create a directory for my application mkdir current weather. Right. So I will be navigating to that directory. Once I have navigated to that directory, let me show you the version of node that I am using. So I am using the latest version of node.js. What I will do is npm in it minus y which will initialize my node.js application with the defaults so let's quickly move ahead with that yeah so our package.json file was created let me quickly open my visual studio code so as you can see we have got this package.json file created with the uh, default application right so the next thing what i am going to do is i am going to install a package that is request which is like a widely used package in node.js application for creating apis or consuming apis so let me quickly create or install that package npm i request So once I have run this command, what this will do is it will install the request package. So this is the latest version of the package is 2.88.2. Okay, uh, so let me quickly show you the request package. So this package is like de uh, deprecated. The owners are not maintaining it, but still like uh, we can use it because it's being widely used and like it has got around 20 dependencies overall. So it's still working as I've tried it also. So what we can achieve using the this API. Okay, so we can do many request and response thing using this api or like the request uh, package uh, package manager basically the request package so let's quickly get back to visual studio code what i will do is for the purpose of the project i will create a app.json file or like app.js file basically so over here, I will say constant request. So basically I am requiring that particular package as an initial dependency for my project. Request. Yep. So once I have done this, what I can do is I can use the URL. So what I will do is I will say const URL is equal to so how are we basically going to form the URL so for that I am using the weather stack API so basically what you have done is like you can sign up for the weather stack API Let me quickly show you what all plans it has got. So if you start with the weather stack API, you can register for free and you have got a 1000 calls per month. 
so you can do it for any uh, uh, development purpose or like R&D purpose so it's uh, basically almost that we require uh, for our data so what we will be doing over here is like we will be using the API key we will be constructing our URL so what we can do is we can say api dot weatherstack dot com and the current weather after that we can pass the access key let me just copy that access key So we have got this access key as well as for getting the weather information we need to pass some latitude and longitudes. So we can say as query is equal to let's say I want to get the latitude and longitude for Dali. So this is like the latitude and longitude for Delhi. What I will simply do is I will go over here, paste this latitude and longitudes and we should be good with getting the data for our demo purpose. So this is the request that we received from application so let's now copy this URL in our Visual Studio code this is how you can form your URL so once I have done this what I will say I will say request and uh, it has going to be accepting two parameters so first is going to be the object object which it accepts is like URL so I have defined a URL as well so I will use that after that there is some callback function which we need to define so I am saying error response okay so once I have written this what I can be doing is like uh, let's say I want to get the body for that particular data so cons data is equal to json dot parse I will simply parse response dot data and simply log it to console or let's simply get the weather so it's going to be current dot current right so let's see if this is working or not what we will really do quickly is we will move to our command prompt we will run a command node app dot js So let's quickly see what the issue was. Okay. So basically what I'm trying to do is like response or data, but instead this should be response or body right because this is going to be returning the response of a body right so let's quickly run this again 
and here we go we got the current weather information of this uh, using this particular api now what let's say if we want to just uh, print out the temperature for this api what we will be doing is like we will simply say temperature right so we should be good to go here so the temperature is 13 right now so this is like how we can use the request api or like the npm package hope so that you like this video if you have liked this video please don't uh, forget to hit the like and subscribe button also do let me know if you want to create uh, you want me to create some other videos related with uh, node.js i would be really happy to help thanks for watching this video